Greetings and salutations, rest of humanity and possible aliens. It is your boy, Freaky Gaming, or Daniel, whichever one you for coming at you guys in another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about three things I do not want to see in Fallout 4. Now, if you are a new viewer, I'm doing a Fallout 4 Pip Boy Edition giveaway when the game actually comes out. So, if you guys want a chance to win a Fallout 4 Pip Boy Edition, uh, all you guys got to do is subscribe. It's a winner is going to be chosen in December. So, let's move away from that and into the actual three things I don't want in Fallout 4. Now, three things I don't want in Fallout 4, guys. Some people are saying they want to see Fallout 4 move to like an Elder Scrolls Online multiplayer. Basically, they want to see Fallout 4 and MMO massive multiplayer online. Now, for that to happen, they would have to rewrite the whole game. And ESO, in my opinion, was not great. Uh, it's not it's not uh, like uh, game-breaking technology. It's not amazing. Uh, it wasn't great at all, in my opinion. Skyrim out far beat it. People are said it was like Skyrim Online. It's not like Skyrim Online whatsoever. Uh, I don't want to see an Elder Scrolls Online massive multiplayer in Fallout 4. Neither do I want to see multiplayer or co-op. I admit I like that single player campaign, you know, Fallout 3, New Vegas, basically on your own in the ways that's the best way to play Fallout in my opinion. But some of you may have different opinions. Co-op may be nice to play with your friends. But your friends might F around too much and basically destroy all your crap. Uh, and I don't think it deserves to be Elder Scrolls Online multiplayer. Elder Scrolls Online, as you guys know, was not great. It wasn't amazing. And it was... It, it's not Fallout 4 worthy. That's all I'm saying. Uh, the next thing people are saying that they want to see in the game, which I do not want to see, is basically make Fallout 4 pay to play. People are saying you should be able to buy XP packs. What I mean by XP packs is basically... Some people want to see, uh, basically, you pay five actual dollars, whether it be on the Microsoft Store or PSN. You pay five real dollars for, like, 500 XP points or 5,000 XP points. You pay uh, $10 for 10,000 XP points. You pay uh, $20 for 20,000 XP points, so on and so forth, basically all the way to 100 bucks, basically 100,000 XP points. Now, that's ridiculous in my opinion. They pay to play does not belong in fallout they are also saying they want to see like a uh, oh you should be able to buy uh cool guns that are only available for purchase and i don't want to see that at all the only thing i want to see basically uh purchasable in fallout are dlcs maybe themes for your actual playstation and that's it uh you know uh pay to play doesn't belong to fallout it doesn't it's never in my opinion if fallout 4 was pay to play it'd probably ruin the game and then but uh that's it, guys. I don't want to see it become pay-to-play at all. I'm pretty sure many of you guys would agree with me on those two things. The third thing I don't want to see in the game is glitches. Glitches, glitches, glitches. I don't mean unlimited bottle caps or unlimited ammo or unlimited stim packs. I don't mean glitches like that. I mean uh, like black hole glitches. What I mean by black hole glitches is basically when you get to a certain part in the game, uh, you go back the next day and all your save files are corrupt. They're no longer there. You have to uninstall the game. You have to reinstall the game, and then basically you have to start over from scratch. Uh, or you get uh, like crazy, crazy into the game. Again, like I said, uh, you get to a certain part, and there's like a broken quest. I don't want to see no broken quest glitches. Basically, game-breaking glitches that destroy the game and make it unplayable. I don't want to see any glitches like that, where your dude falls through the map, and he's just falling for all eternity. You can't do anything. You can't save or anything, and it just basically makes you start a new game. I don't want to see anything like that. I'm pretty sure many of you guys would agree with me. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, some things you should expect from the channel. As you guys know, we're all going with Option 2. If you don't know what Option 2 is, uh, go check out my other video. Basically, I'm going to be doing a, a playthrough series on Fallout, uh, uploading all the main quests. Side, not, blah, 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 my bad. I'm doing Option 2. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I got so used to saying that, so I have to actually get off saying that. But, uh... Basically, option two was uh, you guys want to see a playthrough series. You guys want to see uh, the how-to uh, videos, the best places to loot and find materials, the unique weapon locations, all the bobblehead locations, all the tips and tricks, all building guides, news, the tech reviews, and the vlogs that are obviously always coming to the channel, and much more stuff like uh, the best strategies, locations, and items, and places to loot, and all that good stuff. Uh, so we're doing that with Fallout 4. Now, uh... In a couple of hours here, there's going to be Black Ops 3 coming out. I'm going to be doing Black Ops 3 Zombies. So if you want to join me, all you guys got to do is add me on PSN. I'll actually make another whole video on that. Uh, and you guys can join me once I get a little better at Black Ops Zombies. But anyways, guys, it's been your boy Freaky's Gaming. I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.